Today's August 21st, 2017. It's 9.30 in the morning for me. The eclipse today is happening right now. It's not a big thing. <laughs> This is live video guys of the solar eclipse which is happening right now. This is 10.34 in the morning and the moon is actually starting to come over the sun. It's so cool. This is being recorded on my smartphone. Uh, I have no, no telescope lens on or anything. This is just my smartphone zooming in eight times and with a solar filter over it. So it looks really cool guys. The moon, it looks like a moon but that's actually our sun, a really large star. It's crazy. So I'm getting ready to photograph it, but I'm gonna be live streaming this on my Instagram. So if you're gonna want to watch that, you're not gonna be able to watch that. But if you did watch it, go ahead. Let me know in the comments and let me know what you think. I hope this looks cool to you guys. But this is live video of the solar eclipse. I'm gonna be setting this up. I'm just gonna be filming it. So it's gonna look pretty dang wicked. So this is kind of a sketchy setup, I guess. I have my 300 millimeter lens attached to my Nikon D3400 body on my tripod um, and in order to actually be able to film what's happening up there I am using two 10 stop ND filters now unfortunately I don't have any solar filter like what I have over here for my glasses I put my smartphone in front of that and was live streaming the uh, part of the eclipse a couple minutes ago I'm gonna start that up again pretty soon but I think 20 stops of effective ND filter from right around here to here, 20 stops of filter, cuts out just enough light so I can get some pretty decent shots on the back of my camera here and you can see I'm just going through here. So even though you guys probably can't see what's going on up there right now, the Eclipse is doing that. So I got a couple of video there, what was that, like 40 seconds? Anyway, so yeah, the Eclipse is happening right now. I'm sorry I'm not taking a lot of footage, I'll, I'll film some B-roll later. But uh, right now I'm just trying to photograph the eclipse that only happens, it's actually going to start happening in 15 minutes. So the, the best part of the eclipse will happen just a little bit. So I'll tune back in you guys a little bit later. Alright, so shutter speed for the eclipse with the 20 stop ND filter. I'm looking at around 1 80th of a second, F9 ISO 100. Um, that might seem like a very short exposure to you guys, or a very quick exposure for a 20 stops ND filter. But remember, we're looking at a very, very bright object in the sky, and it can easily burn out my sensors. So I'm going to take the safe route, um, take a slightly shorter exposure, um, than having to burn out my camera sensor and go through all that messed up garbage or whatever. So it's just shot after shot, taking a bunch of shots because you don't know which one's going to be the best when you go into Photoshop, Lightroom. You know. Now, fortunately, I'm not there to see totality. I'm in California. Totality is going to be more up on Oregon, Idaho, the states. It goes through the middle, yes. So I'm not there, but I'm doing the best I can. 70% of the eclipse is still good enough for me. So you know, I'm gonna take a bunch of shots here. The eclipse is getting smaller and smaller until it's gonna be just a little bit, but 70% is about the best we can get here, guys. So unfortunately, I can't do totality. Really want to, but in seven years, it's gonna be in Texas, so I'm definitely gonna fly out there, make it a point shoot totality. So for now, this is the best I got. I'll see you in a little bit. This is the one of the craziest things I have ever witnessed in my life. These are shadows from the tree. So that's your trees here. This is a pine tree. This is shadows from a pine tree. That's not supposed to happen. Um, that is like a maple-ish tree, maybe a Japanese maple, and that's the shadows from that tree. Now, the reason that's happening is because the sun is now covered 70% by the moon, and it, all the sun is being able to uh, sh uh, show you guys the light from it is going to be a half moon here. So that means every shadow here is going to be looking like a half moon, and if you can't tell, it's really dark here. So you probably can't tell but to me it looks like this and it's really weird it's kind of a really heavy overcast day um everything just looks kind of gray and flat um now of course it's not totality so it's not going to be nighttime ish for me here but just the experience of being able to shoot this looks crazy so again guys totality's pretty much would be if i can focus here you can see my feet but totality would be the whole this whole moon in front of the sun, 70% means just 70% of the, the sun will be covered, and that's about it. So I'm going to continue shooting here. I've already taken like 200 photos. That's a lot of photos for me, but I just, I want to be able to get it. So I'll, like always, 
I'll be back in a little bit. Now, I know you're probably going to make fun of me, but this is the rig which I use to actually film the live stream on my phone. So, my phone would just sit in here like that, and through the, the solar filter um, on this glass here, it would live stream to a couple hundred people on my Instagram, um, the Eclipse. Now, a lot of people were streaming in from the UK and other places, so it's at nighttime, and they were totally cool because, to them, they can't see the Eclipse here, but, you know, through Instagram, I was able to give it to them, so I feel kind of cool being able to do that. And, personally, myself, I'm going to take a really cool, uh, I'm going to take all these photos, and I'm going to take them in Photoshop, I'm just going to do the, you know, the Eclipse thing, where, you know, have, like, full sun, then half sun, then a quarter sun, and then a little bit of sun, and obviously I can't do totality, but that's pretty much the idea of the eclipse here. Just do something really cool with it. Um, the sun is starting to pop back out again because the moon is now moving on its way. But it's going to ha it's going to last out here for about an, for about another hour. So the eclipse is about a two and a half hour, you know, from be from starting to finish. So I could take photos the whole time, but it's just going to be the same thing. Um, I'll probably stay out here and take a couple more photos near the end of the eclipse. But for now, I have like 200 photos, which is a crazy amount of photos for just one thing. But you know what? Rather be safe than sorry and have all my photos, you know, have a couple good photos and have a lot of bad photos if that's the way it's going to be. Or have 200 good photos and that's about it. But hope you guys like this video. If you do, please smack that like button. Please become a sub club member by hitting that subscribe button, click the notification bell, so you get all my notifications for when I upload a YouTube video. Till next time, guys, stay, t stay cool, photograph on. And I will see you then.